I talked about manufacturing space, one of the early movers uh, in this space has been Dixon Technologies. Saurabh Gupta, the CFO of the company, joins us to talk to us about what's the latest development been like. Saurabh, hi, good to be speaking with you. Um, you recently partnered with, you know, uh, Lenovo as well. Uh, and you have around 250 crore capex lined up for the IT hardware 2.0 application. Help us understand, A, with respect to this IT hardware, what kind of overall potential do you see and any more such talks in the pipeline? Yeah, so clearly IT hardware uh, will be a large opportunity for us after the mobile, uh, mobile vertical. And if you look at the government has come out with a revised IT hardware PLI, we are a beneficiary of that. And we have committed an investment of almost 250 crores over six years, both on the final assembly as well as the backward integration. Uh, so we were already manufacturing for Acer uh, for the last 12, 15 months. And now we have got a contract from Lenovo. Uh, Lenovo, as you know, that uh, they are a large player in the Indian market. Uh, they are the second largest player and they have almost 19 to 20% market share. Uh, so by next financial year, uh, of course, in the next four, five months, we'll be setting up capacities for them. And by next financial year, we plan to capture around 10 to 15% of the volumes. And then year on year, we expect that our, our, our partnership should further strengthen and we should be able to capture a larger opportunity of uh, this overall pie. Uh, when you say larger opportunity, Saurabh, how much incremental revenue are you eyeing over the next three to five years, specifically from this particular partnership? Yeah, so between both the brands put together, Lenovo and Acer, uh, and also we are in discussion uh, with more brands in this category. Uh, so we think next year, since we will be, it will be the first year for us, there will always be some ramp up time stabilization of this business. So next year, I'm expecting somewhere around 1500 to 1800 crore revenues. And then potentially in two years from now, that uh, those revenues can go to around four, four and a half thousand. So in another two years from now, we can, we, we can look at a revenues of four, four and a half thousand crores. 1,800 to 1,800 crores in the next year, almost 4,500 to 5,000 crores over the next three to five years. But talk to me about the margin profile as well, because we understand that to begin with, the margin is going to be very limited to around 2 to 3 percent. But as we scale up and the operating leverage kicks in, uh, what could be the sustainable margin profile for this segment? Yeah, so one, uh, on account of operating leverage, and also there is an opportunity to do more and more backward integration. Uh, so initially, we will start with PCBA. And then potentially, along with the partner, the opportunities can be in in the batteries, power supply, in uh, uh, in display. Uh, so those kind of opportunities will come in. So very difficult to say what what that what impact that will have on the margins. But clearly, like the way we have seen in other categories, once you start generating a scale and size and generate the operating leverage, uh, the margins go up. Initially, we should start with around two point eight to three percent kind of margins, and then potentially. It can keep inching upwards as we as we grow uh, uh, to a particular scale and size. Yeah. Um, you know, the Lenovo does not have an exclusive manufacturing contract with Dix Dixon. And please, I mean, correct us if our info is wrong here. Apart from Dixon, we believe no other player has been awarded the PLI to manufacture for Lenovo. So consequently, in times to come, how much percentage of Lenovo's volumes do you intend to cater to? And how big could that business and, you know, partnership become? Uh, so we think it can become a large partnership. We are already manufacturing for Motorola, which also happens to be a Lenovo brand. And over the last two and a half years, we have really grown in terms of numbers and uh, basically uh, both for the domestic market as well as for uh, global markets. So we think that uh, if we are able to do a good job like the way we have done for our mobile business, uh, we think this partnership can become big for us in the next couple of years. But very difficult to quantify as of now. But my sense, they, they are a large player and uh, uh, we, can, we can capture a large opportunity of their overall market share in India. What about the 250 crore CAPEX that you're doing for this particular segment? But what about the rest of the businesses as well? What's your overall CAPEX plan? Because what I'm trying to understand is how your return on capital employed will actually shift going forward with these new facilities coming on board. So return on employed, we, we feel quite confident. If you look at the last six years, we have grown from 1,500 crores to last year 12,000 crores and hopefully we'll have a decent growth in this financial year as well. And we have been able to maintain our ROCs. Now, uh, even in this business, and so overall, I think so our CAPEX guidance this year should be somewhere around around 500 odd crores, 500 plus odd crores. 
and uh, one has to do the numbers for next year, but broadly it should be in a similar uh, run rate. Uh, and we think we'll be able to maintain those kind of ROCs. In fact, I feel confident that our ROCs should actually go up because the asset turns in some of the businesses of mobile and IT hardware are far better than our current asset turns at a company level. Um, so with the kind of you know advancement that we are seeing in the entire mobile smartphone technology, with the ramp up of volumes for a Xiaomi um, and the recent opening of the dedicated facility as well, what's your own outlook on how this segment is likely to pan out both over a short and medium term? And what are the kind of numbers and scale that we're looking at? So mobile, no doubt, is the largest opportunity for us and it will be the largest trigger for growth for us. And over the, over the last six, seven months, we have acquired a large uh, customers, uh, both one is new customers and also taking higher share of wallet from existing customers. And we are expecting some more customer additions in that category. And if you look at the overall market in India, uh, so there are, this market for India is around 220 million of smartphones and 2G feature phones, out of which we have now created a capacity of almost uh, 75 million out of that both in smartphones and feature phones. So we are a large player. And uh, we think uh, the ramp up in stabilization would happen for some of our anchor customers starting Q4. And uh, some of the customer additions announcements would also happen in Q4. Execution for them would start in Q1. So next year should be a large growth for us in this category. And this category overall should start contributing almost 60, 65% of our overall revenues. Okay, on that note, we you go. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. So that's the latest coming in from Dixon Tech. Of course, the latest partnership coming in with respect to the IT hardware is something that could get a potential or potential revenue to the tune of 4,500 to 5,000 crores over the next three years. But um